The open next and open previous editor commands let you quickly switch between editors using just your keyboard. Now the default key bindings for these, on Windows and Linux you can hold down control and then use page up and page down. On Mac you can hold down command, option, and then use the left and right arrow keys to go to the next and previous editors. Now let's take a look at these commands in action. So you can see that I have three editor tabs open here. If I then use the go to next editor command, so I will hold down command, option, and then use the right key, arrow key on Mac. On Windows and Linux, I would hold down control and then use page down instead. So when I run go to next editor, you can see it's gone and switched to the last editor in the list here. Now if I run go to previous editor, I'll go back to the middle editor instead, run go to previous editor again, I'll go to the first one. Now kind of a neat thing about this command, so I'll run go to next, go to next, and then if I got run go to next editor again here, I'll actually cycle back through the list. So it will loop through the list here. If I, at this point, when I'm on the first editor in the list, run go to previous editor, it'll go back to the last editor in the list here. Now this also works across editor groups. So I'm gonna just split my current editor uh, by holding down on Mac command and then backslash on Windows, it would be control backslash instead. So now I have two editor groups open here. You can see that I'm focused over on the uh, second editor group in the editor actions here. And if I run go to previous editor, I'll actually go back across into the first editor group. And now I can start going through my first editor group editors. So I'm going previous, previous. And then if I run previous and, uh, and one more time, I'll go back cycling through the list again and we are back in the second editor group over here. So this, these commands work across editor groups. And again, you can cycle through the list when you hit the end or the beginning of the list, it will actually loop back around. So that's a quick look at the go to next and go to previous editor commands. If you're a keyboard heavy user, they're definitely useful to have memorized.